Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and there's nothing I love more than a noisy firehouse. We're hearing bells, talking, got guys everywhere. I am here in Blue Point, Long Island, with George Stout. He's gonna make some pork loin, some crazy potatoes, and some stream beans. Now, stream beans aren't my favorite, but George is gonna put me through the test to see if I like his stuff. Now, behind me is a brush fire truck. This is some piece of apparatus. This can go through trees, go through anything, so we can get the forest fires, and I thought, I should do the opening in front of this beast. So we're down here in Blue Point. Let's eat some pork loin with George Stout on Firehouse Kitchen. All right, we're here in the Blue Point Fire Department. We're here with George Stout. What's up, George? How you doing, Ray? Long All right. time no see. Long time no see. George is a very big friend of the Firehouse Kitchen TV show. He was on our first season with Joe Bonanno. Yeah. And now uh, he's on it again. He was such a good guest. We're having him on again. And we're going to make some BPPL. So blue point pork loin, pork loin. It looks like a pork lion. This looks like what we're eating here. All right, so uh, let's get started, George. Let's make a... Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a little aluminum foil. All right. I uh, need the knife over there, please. All right, here we go. Here Thank you. Find the handle, very and, safe. And uh, to be sanitary, we're gonna put on a few pair of gloves. Okay, I got a pair right over here. In line with Suffolk County Health Department code, All right. we keep everything. Usually in the fire department, you know, botulism is one of our favorite things. So yeah. No, I'm joking. Goes with mashed potatoes and beans. I usually score lightly the top of the roast on the fat side. Okay. Wow. Now what does that do? Does that let it breathe, let the juices get in? It lets all the juices now go into the meat because usually underneath this fat layer is a tendon. Okay. And this also helps break that down a little bit. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of the dry rub, put it across the bottom of the... Now what is in this dry rub? Is this a special dry oh, rub? Is this your secret ingredient? This is my secret ingredient dry right. rub. I developed this dry rub about three years ago to use with our chicken barbecue. All right. And it so, turns out it's capable of being used on a lot of different things. In fact, I think I might have given you some last year. You gave me some last year. Yeah. My wife put it on steak. She put it on just about everything. Everything. And it's delicious. And use it, uh, use it very sparingly because it does have a tendency to be a little powerful. So when the recipe appears on the website, are we going to call it George's Secret Dry Rub and then you'll send it to him? Geo's Dry Rub. I All right, so we'll send, you some, we'll send you some, some, uh, some George Stout Dry Rub. Massage it in a little bit. All right. Well done. What I do now is I'll put three strips of bacon on there. I think you'll find the bacon All on right. the other side. And how we say in just about every show, the more bacon the better. Absolutely. What, what doesn't go with bacon? Uh, peanut butter. Uh, no, peanut butter. No, really I've heard bacon. Peter people using <laughs> peanut butter and bacon. All right. We'll lay the three strips across. Okay. This will impart a little more of a smoky flavor to it. All right. So it tastes more like a barbecue. Pork loin. Take this, roll it up nice and tight, okay. seal the ends. Did you do a little, there yeah, you go. a little thing there. It's like a present. I usually put it on a rack so it gets nice, even heat all the way around. All right, I like this. Stick it in. Now, the only downside of this is it goes into an oven at approximately 250 degrees for three to four hours. Okay. For this whole thing to really Roasted. Now, how many, this piece of loin right here, was this two guys this between? Well, I'm joking. Maybe, that. maybe our size, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, this is for a family, this would handle a family of maybe six. Okay, all right, so, so there you go. So now we're, we're going to take this, throw it into the oven at uh, 225 degrees and let it sit. And we're all done. All right, so we're going to get ready for the portobello mushrooms and the... Yingling potatoes. Yingling potatoes. With every meat, you should have a starch and a vegetable. So the next thing we're going to do is the starch. All right, so we're going to get ready with that, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is always wear your life jacket on a boat. Now, you, if you're 12 or 15 years old, you might not think it's cool, all right? But this is going to save your life. Now, this is a pretty intense life jacket that I have here. Any life jacket is going to save you. In case we have to deploy this boat because your boat flipped over or because you went into the water, we will find you so much easier if you have a life jacket on. Also, it's going to keep you afloat so you don't drown. All right? So, if you're on a boat, always wear your life jacket. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips save lives. 
All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that safety tip. That's for your safety. And remember, those tips save lives. Uh, George, now we're going to make our yearling potatoes. Yes, with uh, uh, rosemary, fresh rosemary, rosemary, chopped up, a few, little bit of white onion, and portobello mushrooms. Okay. Okay. So, going to cut up, and if you don't mind, Ray, could you uh, grab a knife out of the box? And All start? right, I'm going to the toolbox. I love this, the fact that you have a toolbox full of cooking stuff, and I'm going to grab the paring knife. Yeah, the paring All knife right. right in the front. All right, in the front. There it is. Okay. And just knife. slice those thinly. Slice those thinly. Are we going to use the stems? We're going to use everything. Okay, you know what? Why don't we move these over to the side a little bit? Yep. All, All right. done with that. I'll keep myself some, just so I can show America what I'm cutting. And he does know how to do it. And now, you know what? I get made fun of most shows for cutting. I know. <laughs> because I think uh, I don't cut my hand off. Well, that, we're doing good. You, you realize, of course, I'm concerned. <laughs> George is very concerned. It's all right. We're all EMS certified, right? And uh, CFR date. That's it. That's it. That's what's always good. About that. I almost just took off my finger right there, George. I almost. Oh, this I is saw a very that. sharp knife. His paring knife is very sharp. Okay. Okay. And that's fine. Is that good? Am that's I, fine. good. All right. I'll Stick them in. all in the bowl. You got it. Next, we're gonna take, bring the potatoes in. All right. Pour the so we're gonna pour these into the potatoes. Mushrooms. We're not slicing these bad boys at all. Nope, that's as big as they're gonna be. And I said these are like medieval vegetables that we have here. They're bite size. They're bite size. All right, very good. Then we're gonna take some onions and just gently break those things up. Stick them in there. Right over the all top. All done. I love it. Awesome. Now we're gonna take some EVO, and I okay. like using the spray. Because you don't get oil concentrated in one spot. Now, this is EDO. This is like PAM. Extra virgin olive oil. That's Extra it. virgin olive oil. I put virgin it in, olive oil. I put it into a okay. spray container because if you see, it gives it a nice even coating all the way around. That's pretty cool. I've actually never seen it in a spray container like We're that. We're going to take the rose, fresh rosemary that we chopped Everybody up Everybody loves rosemary. She's always the uh, bell of the ball. We're going to take a little kosher salt. Okay. Some coarse ground black pepper, uh, this is and we're going to take out. and toss this. How about a little, little, little spray of uh, oil? A little spray. A little spray. Little, little oh, bit. we have to. We have there to. we go. A little bit of love is okay. I hate to say it, normally I use a bowl that's about three times as big. Okay. Okay. That's ready to go. If right. you'll uh, get the tray that's underneath. Okay. We'll take our tray. We'll take this out. Lay it down. Okay, you want to put a little oil on it first? Absolutely. Just the, so it doesn't stick? Oh, it's going to stick no matter what. Never make pigs in the blanket. I always forget to do that. Yeah. Spread these it's out a little disaster. bit. And we're going to take and put this in right underneath the pork loin. All right, let's do that. And in she goes. Okay, so we got our pork loin cooking. That's it. We have our yearling. Potatoes. Potatoes. That was in the yearling of baby... Deer or something like that? Is there deer in the... Was that a yearling? No, I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay, so, anyway. So now we're... Next course is going to be the green beans. Green beans? In uh, roasted or sautéed in peanut oil. Okay. With sesame oil and sesame seeds and some sweet red onion. Uh, so we got, our, we got our meat. We got our starch. And now we have our vegetables. And now we'll go with our vegetables. Let's go with our vegetables. All right. So let's okay. grab uh, let's grab what we got. Well, one thing is I always like to work with a clean station. So. All right. So we're going to clean up and we'll be right back. All right. We got our meat, our BP, PL, our Blue Point Pork Loin. We have our yearling potatoes. Right. And now we are going to make something with stream beans, which is not my favorite vegetable. Okay. <laughs> but I have had it. Where, if you make it right, I will eat my stream beans. Okay? I think you're going to like it. Okay, I think I'm going to like it. This, when I was a little kid, this was like my hardest, you know, thing. Like, my mom would make stream beans, and that really? was like, oh, my, that was like the worst. See, my day was, was ruined. If, mine was asparagus. Now I love it. Yeah, now I do. I love asparagus, too. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, any, um, anything in the firehouse, like, uh, that you made a meal, all the guys would freak out that they, uh, you know, like a plundered meal? The only plundered meal we had here was about 15 years ago. Okay. A couple of the guys asked for waffles and ice cream. Okay. So we made waffles and ice cream. We're still hearing about it today. Now, better I, I have to ask, George, what went wrong with waffles and ice cream? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 
I guess was it ex- bad ice cream or was it? No, uh, they, they just what? What are you serving us? You know, come on, where's where's the meat and potatoes? Oh, oh so they know. didn't like the meal itself. No, they didn't like the meal itself. Uh, did you have any chocolate syrup? Because chocolate syrup might have. Oh, we had chocolate syrup, strawberry syrup. We had a lot, oh. you know, sprinkles, everything. You know, what's and they were all five. And like? What a bunch of babies! Yeah. Yeah. Well, but the five is blue point. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're very particular. Yeah, five men are the biggest babies if you don't give them what they want. All right, so what are we going to do first? Well, I'm going to dice up this last sweet okay. red pepper. It's not is, hot. No, no, not yeah. hot. It may look like a, a, right. a, a jalapeno, jalapeno that's over ripened, but it really isn't. These are sweet. In fact, if you want to try a little bit. All right, I will try a little bit. Oh, very sweet. Wow. And they look like little eights. There you go. Infinity. We're going to take those and put them in there. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is heat up the oil. What are we doing with this little piece? You want to eat it? I'm going to eat that little piece. That's delicious. This is uh, peanut oil. Mm -hmm. It stands high temperatures and uh, low smoke. So we're going to put about eh, two, three tablespoons in there. Turn it on. Okay. And eventually it will come on. Good stove, darling. And this is an old stove. Then once that gets up to temperature, if you don't mind, there's a small pair of tongs over there. Okay. The, the tools. The tools for trade. Thank you, sir. Now, are we cutting these bad boys up at all? Or? Nope, straight up just like that. Extreme is just, just how they were born. We let this heat up for a little bit. So that it, if the oil isn't hot enough, it ends up soaking into the bean. Because you'll see that the bean, it's relatively dry. These are fresh beans, even okay. though they were frozen. So if the oil is not hot enough, it's going to soak right into it, and it's going to make for a mushy bean. We don't want so a mushy bean. you want bean. something that's going to brown, give you some little char marks on it, look nice. Okay. Okay. Now, what other ingredients do we have here? We have the sesame oil. Okay. We have a little lemon juice. A little lemon juice. And, of course, the sesame seeds and the sweet red peppers. All right. I like sesame seeds. Okay. All right. We're also so. going to add a little salt and pepper as seasoning. Okay. It's really... Even though it's not all salt. that, that's not all going in. Just, no, you're not doing right. that. I, no, say, that I, I, I seem to recall an incident where about that much went into something else. You don't remember that. Is that what happened with the, with the chili? Uh, no, that's what happened with the with shrimp the, scampi. With the shrimp scampi? Yeah. What happened? We dropped the whole uh... whole thing went in. It was not pretty. Did, we, keep, did pretty. we eat it? Yeah, we did. Good and man. we smiled, <sighs> too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put about uh, a little over a handful in here. Okay. Maybe a little more. And you can hear, right away it's sizzling up. Temperature's good. All right. Any tongs at all? Or, uh, no? Not yet. Okay. Next, we're going to add the sesame oil. A little sesame oil. Open sesame. Oh. We're going to do a little seasoning with salt. We're going to add a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper, make everything nice. Tongs stir it up. Tongs. We're not going to flip it yet. Okay. I don't know if you can smell it, but you can smell the sesame oil. Oh, yeah. And you see they're starting to crack a oh. little bit. Wow, I just got a big hit over here with sesame oil. Yep. Wow. Now we're going to add the... My infinity? The infinity peppers. There you go. Number eight. Aces and eights, baby. Yeah, we split them. Aces and eights. That's the worst thing. Alright. You got that down pretty good. Keep that going. If I did that, I'd, I'd probably hit myself in the face with, with scalding oil. And... You want to try it? No. Okay. Stir it around a little bit. Now, the, the idea is to just get them a little bit blackened. Okay. And not burnt. Because now they're softening up right now. Oh, they're, you want them crispy. You okay. want a little crunch to them. A little bit of crunch. A little bit so of crunch. So you get the flavor not only of the sesame, but you also get the flavor of the bean. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can see all the little black pepper in there. It's starting awesome. To brown up. It's unbelievable. It's now, George, how long have you been going? a Blue Point Five? Uh, what am I working on now? I joined in 89. 2014, I'm working on my 26th year. 26 years as a fireman. What made you get into the fire department? Um, well, I served in, uh, I was in the Navy in Vietnam, and I 
of like the camaraderie that was there. Okay. We all had to learn firefighting, and I found it quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So when I got out, I really I started a family. And when the kids got old enough, one of the older members here said to me, come on, join up. It's a lot of fun. You'll have yeah. a good time. And I've been doing it ever since. That's it. So. How do you like all the, uh, the, the busting the chops? And the oh, like any... So, um, yeah, that's because I know that's in the military. They yeah, do, right? you know, there's busting chops all over. Yeah. Now, we're almost done with this. So what I'm going to do is now the last item we add is the sesame, is the sesame seeds. seeds. Okay. So we're going to put those on. Now, we don't put those on too early because they'll get too soft. Right. right. Well, they burn off. Because you know, we want crunchy. crunchy critters. Wow, that looks good. Oh, baby, I am going to have some of these stream beans. And last but not least, we're going to add the lemon juice. A little lemon juice. A little glass of lemon juice in there. This is the first time I'm excited to try some stream beans. They and look delicioso. Next thing we do is we plate. We're going to plate right from here. Okay, right so let's get ready here. to plate, and then we'll uh, go from there. We'll get the pork loin out, we'll get the potatoes out, and okay. we'll plate it up and be ready to go. And then we'll chow down. You got it. And I'm going to have myself some BP. PL, Blue Point Pork Loin, <laughs> some yearling <laughs> potatoes, and, and uh, green beans in sesame oil. Green beans in sesame oil. We're going to work on the name of that. That's a little plain. Want to try that? Green All right, here we go. I'm going to try green bean before. Wow. George, whenever my wife makes green beans, I'm going to have you come over. <laughs> Know how to make She's going to hate me. Yeah. <laughs> no, my wife, my wife's a very good cook. All right. We're going to plate everything up. And let's do it. Let's do some plate. Okay? Okay. All right. We'll right back. Awesome. All right. Now, before we plate, I got to bring out this toolbox. I think this is the coolest thing. You would only see this in a firehouse kitchen. Okay? We have a toolbox here full of all cooking tools. Cooking tools. Whole oh, baby. Everything that uh, I've acquired over the years, I end up using. Because a lot of times I will go into, I've been asked to cook in locations where they just don't have tools. They yeah. may have a stove, they have a refrigerator, they've got some spoons, but they really don't have any tools. And if you, and I know like if you go to a lot of firehouses, especially volunteer firehouses, everything's locked up. You get there, and, you know, and, 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 and they know, yeah, I mean, you go to some fire, volunteer firehouses. I even know my, my, my volunteer firehouse is Bayport, and uh, we did a show there, and I had to run home and get knives because the knives were locked up. Yep. You know, and uh, Either I that, didn't have a key. I didn't have a key. Well, the other part of that is the knives are out, but they are so dull, you can't even cut yes. bread. Yes, I can see that these are, uh, you got all the little yeah, safety. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> got a little knife throw in here. Yeah. But I got everything. This is for the hacksaws. It's a... Uh, it's my brass knuckles. So that's your I, brass knuckles? I a, okay. I get a host, He's going to kill a chicken? So when I get a host yeah. that's out of line, I just kind of like, hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's what you're going to put me in my place with? Ah, this is incredible. All right. Let's put this away, and let's eat some BPPL. Yeah. See the coffee knife? Uh, it's the uh, one. Let's get the coffee knife. No, it's right there next to it. Oh, next to it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to bring out the pork loin first. All right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right. Yes, it's hot. All right, now, now while this was this cooking, we went juice. downstairs, me and George, and, and we got to enjoy some Blue Point's finest, Blue Point Brewery. <laughs> now be it careful. Toasted lava. Yes, I feel it's There's a lot of juice in here, so you got to be careful when you open these things up. Do we want to lose that juice? Not really. And it's really hot, and we want to try and keep the juices oh, in there. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. If you could get the large tongs that are Let's over put there. Put that on, on my table. plate. The whole thing? I'll eat that whole thing. Yeah. Are you kidding me? We're going to take this out of here and very carefully set it over here. All right. Nice angle. Put that down. And now we're going to Do take this. Do not lose any juice. No, we try not to. Because if you want to make a gravy, it's ideal for making the gravy. Put that into a pot. It'll be flour. Heat it up. Okay. Let it brown. And you're all set and ready to go. So we have two plates. All right. What now, this mean? stuff is good to cut relatively thin. You want an end piece or you want a middle? I'll take an end. Mm -hmm. I'll take anything I can get my hands on. Okay. 
Now you can see how tender this stuff is. I'm just gonna, you know what, I should really taste Go it. Go for first. it. Oh my gosh. Look how it just falls apart. George, I think this is right up there with those steaks. This is unbelievable. Mm. Now, normally when I serve this here at the firehouse, mm. I try to do uh, two or three slices per person. Okay. Set this up. And if I do have the time, I will make a gravy. So there are those two. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the potatoes. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let me have those tongs. I'm going to put this bad boy right back in the gravy. Yeah, put it so it's, Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. So bring the taters over. Well, I'm going to bring them as close as I can because, boy, they are hot. They are hot? Yeah. All right. And it looks like it's from medieval times. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take a few of these things out of here. Can I have some crumpets? Can I have some potatoes? Tighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having too much fun here. Yes, all right. <laughs> okay. But that's how it is in the kitchen. It's always... Always last. In you the fire department, it's always last. You less. have to, otherwise you go yeah. crazy. And last but not least, we're going to plate up some of these beans. Okay. All right. These look beautiful. We're going to go downstairs and we'll eat this, this delicious food. We got our BPPL, Blue Point Pork Loin, our yearling potatoes. And our, we call it sesame, uh, sesame green beans. So let's Got go downstairs and let's enjoy, let's enjoy some, uh, some pork loin. All, All right, right. Set. let's do it. Okay. Okay. All right, now we're here on the apparatus floor. So you hear radios, I hear fans, I hear all kinds, we're gonna hear sirens, all kinds of crazy things. Everything that goes on normally every day here. All right, now I decided to sit on the boat with George because they didn't have this boat last year when we were here for right. Firehouse Kitchen. And it, this is some boat. This is, uh, how long is this? 32 foot. A 32 foot rescue boat. Um, With twin 225 Honda four stroke engines. Twin 225s, how bad this bad boy go, about 50? Uh, we haven't clocked it yet. I see, I would do that first. Commissioners would won't let us clock it. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right, let's see, uh, let's taste. By all means. All right, let's see, I'm gonna start with my pork loin. Oh my goodness. Good as always. Oh, baby. But, George, this is amazing. I'm glad you like it. You can get George's recipe on our website, firehousekitchenshow.com. You can also find out how to donate to the Islip Town Fire Museum on our website, firehousekitchenshow.com. Friend us on Facebook. Um, if you want a, your firehouse to be on Firehouse Kitchen, you got, you got some ingredients, so you can be the next George Stout. Firehouse Kitchen will come down and visit you. All right, George, thank you so much. Oh, there we go. I'm dropping potatoes all over the place. Catch that potato. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you next time on Firehouse Kitchen. Yeah! All right, beautiful. Let's eat up.